Let's begin with the man that has been arrested in that brutal attack of a 65-year-old Asian woman. Now, police say the suspect served time in prison for the murder of his own mother 20 years ago. CBS News' Natalie Dundridge is live in Hell's Kitchen with more for us. Natalie? Well, Chris, residents here are expressing relief that this person is now in custody. And police say that it's thanks to the public's tips that they were able to track this man down at the homeless shelter where he lives and arrest him early this morning. We now know that the man in this video seen kicking and beating a 65-year-old woman is 38-year-old Brandon Elliott charged with felony assault as a hate crime. I feel really relieved, but at the same time, it's just disheartening that he's back on the street after learning that he killed his own mother. Police say Elliott was convicted of stabbing his own mother to death in 2002. He served 17 years in prison and was released on lifetime parole in 2019. He was living at a homeless shelter on 40th Street, three blocks from where this attack happened Monday. Police Commissioner Dermot Shea weighed in this morning. When you're releasing people from prison and you're putting them in homeless shelters, you're asking for trouble. There's got to be a safety net and there's got to be resources for them. This man, Rodolfo, lives at the shelter and says the rehabilitation programs need to be better. When he coming out, he, he coming again, he coming more violent. A number of suspects connected to anti-Asian hate crimes in recent weeks have proven to be homeless men. CBS2 asked the mayor what the city is doing about it. The lead agency is Department of Homeless Services. Uh, we are going to have all the agencies work together to address these issues. And that means everything from deploying uh, street outreach workers or mental health professionals or in other cases, of course, how we move NYPD officers around. Demanding something to be done for my people. Concerned citizens also expressed outrage that staff in the building didn't help the woman as she was being beat up. Instead, closed the door. They encouraged people not to be bystanders, but upstanders. Making sure that people stand up for their fellow New Yorkers. I mean, it's inexcusable that this was happening and doors were shut. Now, as for the victim, officials say she was released from the hospital last night. She was treated for head injuries and is now on the road to recovery. In Hell's Kitchen, Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 News. Okay, Natalie, thank you. We've